Hey guys, Big D Wiz, old school stereo.com. Today we're going to talk about a sound stream amplifier from the early 90s. This is the Class A 102, the second version of the Class A 100. So I'm just going to give you kind of a walk through an overview. I'm not going to do a demo where you can hear it, but I'm just going to kind of walk you around, show you the connections, and talk about the amp a little bit. So stick around, let's see what this amp is all about. All right, first off, let's talk about some specs of the Class A102 by Soundstream. And what I did here is, this is a 1991, uh, July, August 91, car stereo review uh, directory. And I inverted the image and printed it out. That's why you're seeing it in those strange colors. I didn't want to mess all my black ink up. But here is the page that shows the Class A102. As you can see, it's rated at 50 watts times two into four ohms. 80 watts times 2 into 2 ohms, or 160 times 1 into 4 ohms. And uh, features a Class A design, a uh, bunch of goodies, and there is the retail, 575 Now, there is also the D100 2 there, which is also 50 by 2. Uh, but 70 by 2 or 120 by 1 and that one retail for 339. I actually have both amps here So I'm just going to show you kind of an overview of both Okay, I have both of the amps the class a 102 and the D 102 kind of side by side here to give you an idea Now the color may look a little different on your screen, but it's because my lighting uh, Haven't worked out my kinks in my lighting yet, but they're actually both the same color So the one on the right looks a little lighter, but it's actually the same Anyway, I'll fix that in the future. But as you can see, the Class A 102 is quite a bit larger than the D 102. And the Class A 102 actually shared the chassis, or shared the heat sink, I should say, with the, uh, the D 200 2, which was a 100 watt times 2 amplifier. Now these early um, Soundstream amplifiers are, are kind of well regarded for their sound quality and I'm not really going to go into a class A or class AB discussion. I'll let you guys read that online because there's a lot of um, controversy whether this class A100 is actually a class A amp. It's really class AB. But anyway, um, I'll let you read about that yourselves. So kind of the best way to describe the differences between these two amps is the one on the left, the Class A 102, is more of your high-end version. So on the one on the left is your Lexus, the one on the right is your Toyota. Just kind of um, it has some extra features. It um, has more reserve power. It's supposed to be uh, you know, a lot of a warmer sound because of the, um, the Class A design, quote unquote. All right, as far as the fusing requirements, the uh, Class A 102 required a 30 amp external fuse while the D102 required a 20 amp external fuse. All right here's a closer up view of the D102 and as you can tell all of the power connections and speaker connections and input connections everything are here on one side which actually at the time was um, was kind of rare because a lot of people were still using the Molex plugs and the external wires so this this really helped for a clean install, but you can see we've got the plus 12 volt, the ground, remote, uh, left plus, left minus, right minus, right plus, and there's your inputs, your left and right inputs. Along with these amplifiers having all the connections here on the front, they also had an easy way, if you can see here, right down here, of tightening up the connections and also it's kind of mystery to me where to adjust the gains but see if you can see them they're right in here there's a left and a right uh, screw hole there for the gains that's for the input gains that's how you adjust the input so if we turn the amp around as you can see there's nothing really there except for the silk screen name now when I flip it over to the bottom you will see that there's a couple plugs here for stereo and mono there's a switch this amp is not tri-mode capable so you can't run a subwoofer and um, 
satellites at the same time. Here are the speaker fuses. It says 3 amp, but I believe those are 5 amp fuses that are in there. And here's the other switch for your 4 ohm or 2 ohm operation. And speaking of the ohm operation, the D102 was rated to handle 2 ohms in stereo or 4 ohms in bridge mono, while the Class A102 was actually rated to handle 1 ohm stereo loads or 2 ohm mono loads. And here's a closer up view of the Class A102. And as with the D102, all your connections are on one side. The main difference here as far as the external view goes is this one has a potent potentiometer that adjusts from 35 to 280 hertz and a button. What this does is it adds 6 dB of boost at whatever frequency that you uh, turn the potentiometer to. And they're also the left and right RCA jacks. And again, on the other side, there's nothing really, anything but the name and the uh, brand model of the amp. On the bottom, kind of the same connection or the same items we had before mono and stereo, left and right fuses, and the bridging switch. And it still doesn't really say 1 ohm here, but it is rated for 1 ohm operation, although I've been told it gets mighty hot at 1 ohms. So now I've uh, walked you around the outside of these amps, let's uh, pop them open to see what they look like on the inside. And here are the beauty gut shots everybody likes to see that, that really likes car amplifiers. And I'll show you the difference between the two. Other than the size, you can see that the Class A102 has got um, more capacitors inside. It's got five as opposed to the D100 having just two. But um, these, are, these are pretty nice looking amps. Now I think at the time they also offered a um, plexiglass backing for these. Um, maybe not. But um, they should have because these are pretty amps. So there you have it. The gut shot of the Class A102 and D102 from Soundstream. Alright guys, there you have it. A brief overview of the Soundstream Class A102 and the D102. Just real quick, I wanted to give a shout out to Mazda2284. He's the one who sold me the Class A102. Check out his channel. He's got some cool videos. He's got over a thousand plenty out there that are really cool so check him out thanks again Mazda2284 alright guys well that's going to do it for the overview of the Soundstream amplifiers for today so please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video if you didn't then don't give me a thumbs down <laughs> anyway subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and stay tuned because I'll have more videos coming up soon you guys take it easy and we'll see you next time see ya